So today, I don't know if you heard, the president, here, like, I got a picture here. This is the president, this is a, one of my tweets. Here's the president signing the pardon of Susan B. Anthony. And how, how, why would that be a controversy? Well, it is. Why? Well, we just went over it, TDS. Because, I mean, this woman, well, you know what, let's, let's put a pin in that. Let's just talk about, I, I have the History Channel here. This is just their, you know, little documentary, mini documentary about women's suffrage. And let's talk about it for a little bit, because it's crazy to think about women couldn't even vote in the past. Like, we have, and honestly, there's countries in the world where they probably, I don't know if, if they can vote in the Middle East. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure, I, I actually didn't look this up, but I'm just... I'm pretty sure they can't vote in, in every country. It's like, America's amazing. Like, look what we've done. So let's read about this a little bit. It says, The women's suffrage movement was a, was a decades-long fight to win the right to vote for women in the United States. It took activists and reformers nearly 100 years to win that right. And the campaign was not easy. Disagreements over strategy threatened to cripple the movement once, uh, more than once. But on August 18th, 1920, the 19th Amendment, uh, to the Constitution was finally ratified, enfranchising all American women and declaring for the first time that they, like men, deserve all rights and responsibilities of citizenship. That's amazing. You know what that makes me think of? That makes me realize and think how awesome America is. It's simply awesome here. You know, we a lot of people try to convince me that America's not a great place. And it's like, you'll never, ever convince me of that. We are awesome. We fought for rights. We gained rights that we didn't have. That All right, maybe not me personally, but like everybody in our past, like we're standing on the shoulders of these incredible giants that have written the Constitution. And it is insane. It's amazing. So I, I actually have the actual document. Check this out. This is the actual document that they, uh, they signed. This is the 66th Congress of United States of America at the first session begun and held at the city of Washington on Monday, the 19th day of May, 1919. Love the way they used to write that kind of stuff. Joint resolution proposing an amendment to the constitution extending the right of suffrage to women. And it says here, the article, I guess it just dash, but it says the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on the count of sex. Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. And it was spoke, uh, it was, here it is, signed in. So that's awesome. I mean, we have, women can vote. I mean, and it was a, a they fought for a hundred years to get this. And it's, it's amazing, you know? So here I've got, uh, I've got a little bit more uh, written about it. Where did I see that? There it is. Go back to the, uh, the history here we go it says uh the campaign for women's suffrage uh, began in earnest in the decades before the civil war so before the civil war even started back in 1820s and 30s most states had extended the franchise to all uh, white men regardless on how much money or property they had so that's crazy it started a hundred years so 200 years ago it started so they were they were fighting for them to gain their rights and i'm i'm amazed so here he here's the president just signing into law well so I was, this is him signing the pardon of susan b anthony so a lot of people were um upset about this actually and it kind of let me just uh get this ready here come on come on i learned a trick from tim to be able to see it here we go so so here here's the um this is from upi it says trump says he will pardon suffrage icon susan b anthony and it just talks about it a little bit he says uh, on tuesday he will post human humorously uh, pardon suffrage icon Susan B. Anthony for her arrest nearly 150 years ago for unlawful voting. Uh, yeah, she voted and uh, in, in a New York primary and was able to sneak it in and got arrested for it. Trump made the comments during the White House ceremony recognizing the 100th episode, or <laughs> anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which granted American women the right to vote. And he says, I can't believe this hasn't happened before. Trump said of pardoning Anthony, who violated laws that permitted only men to vote. She got pardons for a lot of other women, and she didn't even put her name on the list. We are going to be signing a full and complete 
uh, pardon. Uh, it goes on to actually say what, what happened. Susan B. Anthony, who fought for women's rights to vote over five decades, illegally voted in, 18, in the 1872 presidential election by casting a ballot in Rochester, New York. She, subsequently, uh, she was subsequently arrested, convicted, and fined $100, the equivalent of about $2,200 today. She died in 1906 at the age of 86. Well, she lived a long life. So Trump called the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution a monumental victory for equality and justice in the United States. I, I got I to gotta agree. He says, he continues, uh, today a, a record-breaking 131 women are serving in Congress. Nearly 70 million women vote in elections. 56% of our nation's, uh, of our nation's college students are women. More than 11 million women-owned successful businesses. That's awesome. That's uh, that's incredible. I mean, imagine 100 years ago they couldn't even vote. And, and actually, because I did a deep dive on Donald Trump, his own father, Fred Trump, when, his, when Donald Trump's grandfather died, Donald's father was 12 and was trying to take over his, his father's business. Couldn't, but... Um, the mother and him were able to do it together but she couldn't run it herself so they kind of like figured it out before he was able to take over the business at 18. oh it was because he couldn't open a bank account but he had to run the business so it's really interesting now we have over 11 million women-owned successful businesses that's awesome you know it's like again try to tell me how america's not amazing america's amazing so wouldn't it surprise you that this, of course, pissed the Democrats off. Because why? Well, she didn't want to be pardoned. And she wasn't a criminal. So by him pardoning her means she was a criminal? So they're kind of switching it up. Here, I got this article here. It says, uh, this is Governor Kathy uh, Houchel. All right, and she says, uh, Trump she demands Trump rescind Susan B. Anthony's pardon because she did nothing wrong. So Susan B. Anthony didn't want to be pardoned. Um, and Governor Kathy Hochul says, thinks President Trump should respect her wishes. Trump marked the centennial of women uh, winning the right to vote by making the surprise announcement that he would pardon Anthony, a women's rights activist who was the key figure in the suffrage movement, suffragist movement. But Hochul believes that that's the wrong decision. Speaking out against Susan B. Anthony Museum and House in Rochester, she said Trump, uh, in quotes, treated uh, Susan B. Anthony like a criminal, end quote, by issuing the pardon. Trump pardoned 26 people and commuted uh, sentences for 11 others in his presidency. Many of the people granted clemency have personal or political connections to Trump. Her name should not be married by the associate, associated or by being associated with the other individuals, Houchel said, referring to the list uh, tr of other people Trump has pardoned, nor should she be granted a pardon because she did nothing wrong. Well, <laughs> all right, so, oh, I guess I, I sorry, I was, um, I didn't, I wasn't showing you guys the article. Still getting used to it. You know, so I, I, I think this, you know, and it's like, I, I, I thought it was awesome. I, I, I didn't even make the connection that, you know, it, it wasn't, it was illegal at the time. So it was a mark on her record, you know. So for me, I, I thought it was a, a, it's the 100th year, 100 years today since women gained the right to vote. And you're going to be upset because the president signed, you know, pardoned like the, the woman who fought for decades to do this. I think that's, that's honoring her. And it wouldn't be surprised if he put her in the, the uh, what is it called? The Forest of Heroes or, man, it's, it's uh, slipping my mind right now, but he, he's making a new statue park in Washington um, for the American heroes. And it wouldn't surprise me if he put her in that because she is an American hero. As far as I'm concerned, she helped pioneer giving women the right to vote in this country. And that's amazing. So we should be honoring her to pardon her, you know, is a, is an honor. I, I feel anyway, you know, it's, so it's, it's up to you to, you know, think what you will about how that, what that means to you. But to me, I think it was an incredible move by him. You know, here, here we have a, uh, this, this is hilarious. So 
this is satire from the Burowitz report. I, I don't know if he's trying to be upset or it, it says satire. So I just thought this was hilarious. It says Susan B. Anthony begs Trump not to pardon her. <laughs> I don't want to be on the Wikipedia page with Roger Stone. So I, I just thought this was hilarious because come on. It's like they're really trying to make this a bad thing. And what did we say earlier about the DNC or about TDS here? Look, check us out. I'm just gonna, it's just the reflexive refusal to agree with any position Donald Trump takes, regardless of merit. This is, this is pure, ex and a pure example of exactly that. They just want to make anything that he's done bad. How dare you pardon her? You're, it's a mark on her, you know, whole legacy, or he's reminding everyone how amazing she was and pardoning her to because she didn't do anything wrong it was illegal at the time and she did it and got arrested and he pardoned that because you know now it's not she you know she wasn't even alive to see her her hard work come to fruition so I, I thought it was great I think a lot of people could know about it it's no like what a powerhouse of a woman Susan B. Anthony was that she fought for decades to to give women's rights to people or for to, to women, you know, and that's uh, that's incredible, you know, so I think it's